Welcome by the Drunken Barbecue. Today we're going to make a copycat of Costco's chicken bacon. But then better. But before we can do this, we need to get the fire going, which is well on its way, and we need to make a Caesar sauce. And now, of course, you think Caesar sauce or salad dressing is difficult to make, but nothing is further from the truth than that. Here we go. We're starting with some Greek yogurt, and we're going to put some garlic cloves in there. That's not a good start, we just broke that stupid thing. <laughs> <Blooper. laughs> what a penis. Did I just break my garlic crusher? Anyway, let's start again. Now we're having some, uh, some Greek yogurt and we're going to add some chopped garlic in there. Chopped garlic, yeah. I could have used crushed garlic. And now the garlic is in, we're going to use some lime juice. There you go, that's a penis. Then we're adding some Worcestershire sauce and some fish sauce. Voila, some fish sauce. And then to flavor it all up, we're gonna give it a bit of pepper. Got to have some pepper, right? Stay with me, we're nearly there. I know buying a jar is easier, but hey, this is nicer. So, after the pepper, we're gonna put some cilantro in there. Nice, look at that. Doesn't that become the healthy? And now we're mixing it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a jar stuff or not? I would say no. This is better. And this is how I want it. You don't need much. It becomes ready in no time. Or actually water. <laughs> White water. Look at that. Look at that. Now it just looks like it's coming from a bottle, hey? But it tastes a lot better. And that's all there is to it, guys. That's how you make your own Caesar salad dressing. Sauce, whatever you want to call it. I put it away, otherwise the cats will eat it. Now it's time to, uh, to grill the chicken. So, let's marinate it. And we're going to sell some chicken breast, and we're going to sprinkle... Oh, I'll get a stutter. And we're having ourselves some chicken breast, which we coat with salt, pepper, garlic and paprika powder, and Italian herbs. So we rearrange the fire a bit, put some grating in there, and we're ready to grill. And there we go, let the party begin. And those who are still watching, you must like the video, so hit those like and subscribe buttons, guys. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Going fantastic! Anyway, you think this went too fast, guys? The recipe is at the end of the video. And now the chicken is nearly cooked. We're going to pull it off the fire and we're going to cube her up or shred it, whatever you do, as long as you make it smaller. Shit, that thing is hot. Like I know what I'm doing, guys. Like I know what I'm doing. And I still have my fingers. <laughs> and we turned up the heat by adding some more wood, so here we go. And heat up the pan. Look at that, flames everywhere. What's a pan without oil? Oh, we need some oil. And in goes the chicken. Woohoo! Look at that. What's that? Aha, Costco, dream about this, eh? Look at all those little squares, right, guys? They are services. All those services are going to have flavor now. <laughs> Not that half our staff from them. Well, guys, if you wonder what you could smell, well, you could smell the chicken, the herbs, and some hairs, which I just lost a few. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's all ready now. Now we're going to stick it aside. Cool down. While it cools down, you're just going to give it a little bit of sriracha sauce. And while the chicken is cooling down, we're going to heat up the oven to about 350 Fahrenheit. And while we do that, because we've got some time to spare, we're going to crack a beer. Cheers guys. 
life is good. And, my friend, that's not for you. And while the offered her... Not offered. And while the... And while the... Fuck me. And while the smoker warmed up, I made some bread, though. Then I start with putting the first layer of grated cheese in there. It's a combination of two different cheddar cheeses. And next, we're going to pile up some nice chicken. Well, that's what we made it for, eh? Look at that, Costco. Take that. Oh. Well, guys, you would say, why don't I put the sauce down first? Well, I don't want the sauce on the dough, because then it becomes soggy. Look at that. And here we go, a bit of pork. Got to have a pork component, right? So we just fried some bacon. And as a good TV show, they always say, this is what I prepared earlier. And now it's time to put the sauce on. Look at that. I just hope that the sandwich will stay together. This is gonna be awesome. And next we're gonna put some Parmesan for the kick on it. Nothing better than some cheese straight out of a can. Makes it nice and fresh. And then we finish it off with a layer of grated cheese again. Woohoo! Look at that. And now all my Mexican friends will be laughing at me because this thing is supposed to roll up like a burrito. Now we know where that's going, right? Well, there we go, guys. We're gonna hope it's gonna be all right. We're gonna fall this over. Oh yeah, it fits so far. Maybe I underestimated myself. Ooh, oh shit, it's on the board. There you go. Nothing is impossible when you barbecue, right? And then, oh man, I'm gonna roll it over away from yourself. Oh shit. <laughs> Look at that. And now we're gonna make an egg wash. We need to give it a nice color, right? Crack the egg. Poof. Throw it in there. Don't need that. Beat her up. Awesome. Keep that because we need to meet the fork later. And then we're just gonna brush the top. Nice egg. Eh? Boop. This is how you do it. Oh yeah. So only one thing left to do, some more grated cheese. Look at that guys. This is gonna give a nice tiger underwear look. I'm sure it's got a better name, but this is all I know. Next we're gonna get the baking sheet, which I also prepared earlier. Transfer our little roll on there. Little roll on there, I said. So, and now we pop them in the smoker, which is right now 350 Fahrenheit. And we're going to keep them there for about 20 minutes. It's kind of an oven, it's not really smoker. So there we go. The smoker is acting as an oven, so there we go. Oh, look at that, we made a monster of a chicken bake. Look at that tiger underwear pattern on it. There we go, let's split them over. And that's it again for this week guys. Thanks for watching, hit those like and subscribe buttons and see you next time.